What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. I'm currently heading out to pick up some stuff. So first off, I'm gonna stop at Car Aid. So I need to go and pick up a bottom end gasket kit or gasket and seal kit for the RB20 that we're gonna be stripping down next week. I actually mentioned this in a live stream, uh, which would have been last week from when you're watching this, that I was going to be stripping the engine down and giving it a giving it a quick refresh. All the machine work has obviously been done. Uh, it's got brand new, brand new rings and stuff. The idea behind it was because, well, the idea behind uh, tearing it down and uh, just putting it back together is because I built the motor about a year ago and it's just been sitting ever since. Because it is a fresh motor, I figured I'd just quickly tear it down, clean it all up, re-lube it, put it back together before we run it. Just because last thing I want is to, yeah, go and, go and run a bearing because all the lube has gone out of it or there's, you know, other contaminants got in it because I'll be honest, I'm a dumbass and I didn't wrap the engine up properly. So yeah, we're gonna go to Car Aid, pick those up and we're gonna yarn to them about a potential car feature video that we're gonna be doing with one of their cars. Uh, but then also gotta go to the lockup and grab a subframe so I, I can chuck into that because we really need to get that thing rolling. Uh, but the main point in this video is probably gonna be a bit of a sad one is because yeah, I am gonna go and get the subframe to put into that. And I'm also gonna finish taking everything out of that that I wanna keep. And then, uh, and then the old girl will pretty much be ready to be sold. I actually have another set of tail lights, actually the original tail lights that were on it. I picked up a, another center garnish so it can it can look complete. So it'll still look like a semi-decent car for, for when I go to post it up for sale. But right, I'll stop rambling on. I'll go to car raid, grab the stuff I need, and then uh, we'll come back and get into it. I must say it is a beauty of a day here in Christchurch. The weather is so nice today. I woke up pretty late. Uh, my sleeping pattern's kind of been a bit messed up this week. I guess uh, it's like my second week, I think, officially not working full time. So I'm kind of letting my uh, my sleeping pattern slip a little bit, staying up a little bit later than I should, and waking up a bit later than I should. But yeah, I woke up about midday today, and oh, it's a cracker of a day. I forgot to mention the fact that I need to do a dump run first off. So yep, here we are. The old boys come on the forklift to give us a hand lift in this. Say hello to the people. Hello, how you going? <laughs> Completed my running around, did my dump run, dropped all that shit off. Picked up the RB20 bottom end gasket kit for the RB20. And yeah, went and grabbed the subframe for the Sylvia that's in the back there. So shout out to my old man for giving me a hand lifting that, because fuck lifting a subframe with a dip in it by yourself. That ain't fun. So yeah, we're on our way home now. And then, uh, yeah, crack into, crack into the Sylvia. Oh, oh, no pets. <laughs> no pets. So it is the next day now. I got home yesterday after doing my running around, grabbed my subframe, and um, I was gonna get into it, but not up long after I got home, Mitchell actually ended up coming around and bringing me around a paint sample for the Seth. So if you guys watched the live stream last week where we picked out a color, because he brought around a bunch of um, like color codes, he actually, after we decided on which one I wanted to go with, he went to work and mixed it up with some extra silvers and pearls in it so we can get that sparkle without having to, uh, without having to use like metal flake and stuff. So I'll give you guys a, a little, little show of that if we can get it in the sun. Right. Hopefully the camera can pick that up good, but definitely lots of sparkles in there. Are you shaking? Hey? Are you shaking? I am actually, a little bit. So yeah, that's the colour that we are going to be going with in the engine bay, and I'm super stoked on that, so I hope you guys are too. Also, sorted out my caliper situation, so again, I mentioned in, um, not the last video, but the video before, when we put the brakes onto the Severo, that I had messed up somehow, don't know how, and got two of the same side caliper, so we got these here. These are, again, R33 GDC big brake calipers, but if we... Face them the same way, you can see that the nipple is on the bottom here, and on this one the nipple is on the top, so now we've got the correct calipers. I'm not going to chuck those on in this video, I'm still going to get done what I wanted to 
Initially, I've got the hubs, arms and knuckles here. This is the subframe that I'm putting in it. I did mention, I think, that this was the R33 subframe that I had in my uh, my drift hack. It's just a R180 subframe and it's like a real, real shit diff. Yeah, they're, oh, it's windy. They're weak as and uh, yeah, taking everything good off the S14. To keep it rolling, I figured I'd chuck that back in because I'm never going to use that in another car anyway. So I currently don't have anyone to help me give me a hand chucking that in at the moment. I'm just gonna start taking stuff out of here. So you can see that I have stored a seat in there. I wanna take pretty much everything out of here. So seats, harnesses, quick release hub, handbrake. These are the passenger side harnesses. These are my lines for my catch can. Definitely keeping those, those are going in the sepi. Wiper blade. Zzz. Even though I got a fire extinguisher, this can go in the set too. What I have left to do now is I gotta take this dash out. Um, I'm not keeping it, I will put it back in, but I gotta take it out just to make it easier to get all the wiring and stuff out of here. Because I am using all of this wiring in the Sephiro, so should all work. Might have to lengthen the fuel pump side of things because I'm obviously gonna run the fuel setup in the back of this as well. And obviously this is a much longer car. But yeah, so yep, I'll get on to that. And then the last thing I need to take out of here is the fuel system. So yeah, we can take the search tank set up, fuel pumps, relays, all this wiring. I also need to take that fuel sending unit because I actually robbed the fuel sending unit out of the other S14 for this. So now we're gonna rob it out of this for the other S14 so I can put it back in the other S14. It's kind of sad, I, I really didn't want to be doing this. I know a lot of you um, were really looking forward to seeing a lot more of the track car. Unfortunately, it's kind of just how things have, uh, things have played out. Let's put on to bigger and better things though. Um, obviously, you're not gonna see the S14 anymore, but you're gonna definitely see lots of this, lots of action in this, and then obviously lots of action with that. So. It's not all bad, but it is definitely bittersweet. I did put a lot of time and effort into the S14, and yeah, but, oh.
So I pulled the dash out, went to start taking yeah, all the wiring out from, um, from behind it, because shit will come out pretty easy. I just went into the engine bay because the starter motor alternator loom is obviously in here. And looks like it's done all nicely, but the guy that wired this, he ran it through this tiny ass hole. So I'm gonna have to chop that to be able to get this stuff out. And the work looks like it was done well, and I know who did it, but I don't know why you'd run it through a fucking tiny ass hole like that when there's big plugs and shit. But you might have to get out at a later date, so yeah, that's annoying, but oh well. Snip, snip time. And yes, I probably could have unpinned some of these plugs, but a lot of the wires were done way too long. And instead of making them the right length, they were literally just folded over and zip tied together. This is dumb. Now, we can pull it through nice and easily. Me and my girlfriend just spent a painstakingly amount of time trying to get all of this through a tiny hole up there, only to realize that to get all of these out without having to cut it is impossible because this was run through the cage here and there's no way that we were gonna fit these, these relay things through, through this little gap here. So we did all that work for nothing and I ended up having to cut it. Although cutting it here actually wasn't too bad because there's two main lines. We got this one here and it's red and black, easy to, Easy to connect back up, and there's like four wires in, in this one, but again, they're all different colors, so easy to easy to wire back up for my wiring guy when he goes to put all this stuff into the set and make it work. Thanks for the help, even no though problem. it was no no point. Filled in the day a bit, didn't it? <laughs> so I have just taken the surge tank out that was there. It's just sitting on the ground over there. I need to take the fuel sending out, uh, fuel sending unit out, as I mentioned before. Now, usually you'd go through the back here, but because I don't have back seats and I have this to actually be able to take that off to eat uh, to make it easier to get to the fuel pump to uh, too much work so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna climb in the boot and the reason I'm doing this is you got to stick your your arm far far down there to be able to unclick it unclip it Bit moist. Bit moist, yep. Pretty much finished taking everything that I want to take off this car now. I also took the brake pedal and the clutch pedal. Took the clutch pedal for the Sephora because I need one for that. Um, and I also took the brake pedal because this had a factory manual brake pedal in it. And because that S14 is a factory auto, I want to take the factory manual pedal out of this and run it in that because you can't run a auto brake pedal with the clutch obviously and you can't just cut it and be done. Usually you could, but unfortunately because I want to take that car through cert, they don't allow you just to cut the brake pedal. You actually have to have a proper manual one. So yeah, robbed it out of this, but I found something really fucking gross. You see all that there? All this, this is a rat's nest. All of that was in this sill here. So you can see the, this hole here, or these holes here. I saw the shirt vaguely sticking out. This shirt here, just vaguely sticking out. So I started pulling it all out, and yeah, there's a couple of shirts, like rubbish bags, and like, it smells real bad as well. So yeah, I had a mouse or a rat with something living in the, uh, living in the sill of the drift car here. It's <laughs> so gross. So you got the subframe in. I didn't bother filming it, because you guys have seen me take and put away sub put, well, take out and put back in subframes like several times in the last like week and a bit so get you a girlfriend that also can get into the tight spaces and do the work for you that'll be it for this video guys cheers for watching the old girl is sitting here she's in a bit of a sad state now we got all the subframes and everything all buttoned up it's all four studs on it's on the space save well not space savers but just your your random wheels this is uh this is definitely a sad sight now. Completely gutted on the inside, chuck the dash back in. But yep, she's for sale. At the time you guys are watching this video, I would have actually posted it up for sale officially on a few Facebook pages uh, last night at the time you're watching this. So um, yeah, it, uh, if any of you guys wanna make me an offer for it, go for it. What I'm currently doing is because obviously I want to try and get as much money for it as I can. I am basically, by the end of the week, 
whoever's offered me the most amount of money takes it. So yeah, highest offer by the end of the week owns it. But yeah, anyway, that'll wrap for this one. It's probably not the most uh, not most action-packed one. It was more just yeah pulling that car apart. But but I figured doing this full time now, I may as well film literally everything. So it was something we were doing. Thought I was may well film it. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you're still watching this or whatever. But um, yeah, you know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Catch you in the next one.